Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with an updated stockpile tour. I did one of these, um, I think in January of last year, but I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys an updated stockpile tour from my couponing, shopping with sales, that kind of thing. Um, I'm gonna show you multiple areas in my house. This is our main area um, for overstock. If you can see, it's right down my basement stairs. And it's a nice little um, closet, wooden closet, very old school down here. It's all wooden paneling. But it allows me to have a lot of extra space to store stuff that we use on a daily basis that we have upstairs and that I can just come down here and grab from my extended pantry, which works out great. So I like to keep all the food items up here just so there's no overspill of other things onto the food. And um, I've updated my system. I used to keep, you know, pasta and extra rice, things like that down here. I don't do that anymore. I try just to keep cans and like glass and hard covered um, items down here just because it is a basement. And I decided I don't like to keep the extra like grains downstairs. Those are all upstairs. So I'll show you guys where I keep my extra stuff of that. But just to show you guys, this is all my uh, tomatoes. I have like crushed ground tomato sauce and it goes all the way back, double road, um, probably about 10 to 12 cans down here. These are my extra veggies. So I have a row of whole kernel corn. Actually, I have two rows of that. We go through a lot of corn and um, a whole row of the sweet peas. We use that a lot as well. They just had a good sale at Stop and Shop on canned peas and um, corn, things like that. And Target had a good sale. They were only 49 cents each. So I stocked up my pantry because we were low from last year. And then over here, I have a whole row of uh, Progresso and Chunky Soups that goes all the way back. Down here are my beans. It goes, you know, all the way back, double road. We have pinto beans, red beans, kidney beans, black beans, um, chickpeas, all that great stuff. So these are all my excess beans down here. This row is all my canned fruit. Now, as you can see, it goes all the way to the back, about 12 to 15 cans, um, pears, peaches, fruit cocktail, pineapples, things like that. Here I have all my extra peanut butter, if you can see. Not too many. Um, I buy it whenever it goes on sale. We go through a lot of peanut butter, but I don't like to keep too much on stock because it does eventually go bad. And um, just a Nutella, I recently got extra ketchup. I usually like to have one or two on hand extra just because we go through it a lot. These are a few of the extra corns and um, peas that didn't fit up there, so I have a row of those. I have um, just extra hot sauce, extra garlic, apple butter, coffee creamer. And then I got this um, raspberry preserves at Dollar Tree maybe last winter. And it's good until 2019. I got like 30 of them because they were so good. So I have about six or seven left down here. Now, non-food items down here. I have a feminine care all the way in the back. I have um, flushable wipes back here. Extra travel tissues. These are some extra soaps down here. Some more soap, face cream, a few magic erasers. These are in the wrong spot. I got my uh, cotton rounds that I like to use on my face. Extra baby wipes. Some extra spices. I just had no room up here, so I just threw them in the corner. And some extra vitamins. Down here is all my razors, all my toothpaste. I'm actually running low. I have to stock up on that. Um, I got some, you know, foot powder, uh, cotton swabs, uh, a bunch of makeup back there hair mask, bandages, just some odds and ends of things we use. I don't go crazy anymore on this stuff just because I've learned over the past year or so how much we use. And I don't want to have too much of a stock on stuff that we're not going to use. So on uh, my cat's here, he's going to go crazy because of the light. Here is all of my lotions. These go back. Um, I only have about seven or eight on standby now. I used the rest that I had. The shower gels here. Those are about maybe 10 left. I have stock upstairs as well. These are all my shampoos. These go all the way to the back through there. These are all my conditioners through here. Hey, Max. Get lost, Max. Go. 
Back through here is all my um, my gel and my hairspray. I'm pretty stocked on that. I won't need any probably for the rest of the year, like next year. And now I have just some men products, um, things my husband likes, but we have it upstairs, some detanglers. And then all the way on the bottom, I keep all my hand soaps. Those are all my hand soaps. And I have a mouthwash back there, if you can see. And then these bins are just extra... Um, like stove covers the, these are those and then in the bins are guest napkins so as you guys can see um this is all the overflow from you know upstairs that we keep down here not too much just because like i said i don't like to keep things on hand that we don't use it's all stuff i use and i rotate i'll show you when we go upstairs my system of how i rotate it but i always grab from the front anything new i pull everything out put it in the back kind of thing so if you guys hang on, I will show you guys my laundry room. Okay, now we're in my laundry room. Don't mind it. It's an unfinished laundry room. It's nothing nice to look at. But it has great shelving down here. And when we eventually redo it, I want to make use of these shelves and keep them. So these are my, um, my laundry soaps next up. I have about 17 bottles and then two of the Tide pods. So those are going to get used first because they're the oldest. I have a thing of laundry sheets extra. I have downy fabric softener, one of those left. These are all extra um, laundry soaps. So I couldn't think of the word. I got some scrubbing bubbles. I have two of these. Just an extra disinfectant, an extra Ajax, an extra Renewsit, a bunch of these cones. Then I have my carpet spray. I have three of those. I go through about one a month, so I like to keep three in stock. Bunch of sponges, my Lysol wipes, and again, sorry for, we have to refinish all these walls. Um, Lysol wipes. I have a couple Windexes. These are all general, all-purpose cleaners. Uh, I'm sitting on those for a while. These are um, my freezer bags, sandwich bags, hefty zips, um, Glad wrap, that kind of thing. I have a bunch of um, trash bags left over from last year. I got these this time last year, and I still have a bunch. We go through about two a week, I'd say, depending on what if we throw food out. So that was a stock up when I did that. I got those very cheap. A bunch of dish soaps and one giant hand soap that I didn't want to put in the closet. Over here are just some paper things. We actually use um, material napkins, me and my husband, every night. But when we have guests over, I just keep some of these on hand. And I have a party bin full of cups and plates for when we have big parties. So those were in my cedar closet. I didn't take those out, but we have about like 400 plates we got for very cheap and lots of cups. So those are in here. These are just things I grab for everyday use if I need them, if we have guests over. And then tissues. I just have a few of these giant ones. These have been lasting us. And then just a thing with aluminum foil. And for my kitty, we got a bunch of um, kitty litter on stock for him. And he's working on a giant bag of Purina right now. And we're currently using one of these Downy. We're using a Tide Oxy. I just have a air wick down here for freshness. My bleach. And we're working on these Arm & Hammer um, dryer sheets. And I just keep this here for, you know, in between jobs. I like to just clean my hands quick and another little air freshener. So I will show you guys my garage next. Okay, out in my garage, nothing special. Very messy in here. We have to clean out the garage. But I have all my toilet paper and paper towels mostly up there. Extra waters. Those are the newest three we bought. So those are on the side. Um, beer. Some industrial paper towels. We always have these for cleaning jobs. Some more beer, lots of drinks for my husband, sodas, iced tea, apple juice, that kind of thing, Gatorade. Extra coffee pods we keep here. Some extra soda for my husband. And these are the paper towels and toilet paper we're working on, so I bring them in from here when I need them. Some more waters, we're currently working on that one. I like to keep some in the fridge when we have guests over. I usually drink, we have a water filter, I drink out of that, but I like to have these for guests. And then that water will be used next. And then just down here, we have Clorox, you know, bleach, windshield wiper fluid, tiki torch stuff. So that's all like the extra stuff like that we need that my husband has picked up. So again, not too crazy. We're pretty stocked on toilet paper and paper towels. So I probably won't be purchasing any of those for a while. So I will bring you guys inside and show you my stock in my pantry.
Okay, now we're upstairs in my pantry. This is our giant pantry up here. So up here is just like chips, cookies, candy, that kind of stuff. We work from the front. That's the oldest. It's newer stuff is in the back. We know to pull that way. Down here I have um, marshmallows we are using frequently because we're baking and having hot cocoa. I have rice in these um, Tupperware things. These are extra rice that we're using next. Behind that I have tea. Here I have our nuts and then we have all of our oatmeal. All in the back is all oatmeal. Just the peanut butter we're working on and then some snacky items. In here is like our starchy drawer. These are all my muffin mixes, macaroni and cheese, cake mixes. These are the older cake mixes that I have that I have to use by February. Nora's pasta sides, um, some seasoning, all my pastas in the back, and mashed potatoes, that kind of thing. And here is all my beans that I'm going to be using next, all down this row. These are my pork and beans. These are all my fruits that I'm going to be using next. And then these are all like sauces, chicken broth, um, jellies, jams, Nutella, things that we're going to use next. So those are here. These are all soups that we're going to be working on next. We're going to pull from this because these are the oldest soups that I've bought. So this is the row we're working on now. Down here, this is all tomato products for uh, making sauce and chili. These are all vegetables from last year that when I did the... 39 or 49 cent um 39 or 49 cent deal so these are our oldest vegetables so we're eating these first so those that's why those are in the front and just some tomato soup and um uh tuna that we're going to be finishing up soon and now down here this is new for me my brother moved out so i have the extra space so back here is just all extra cake mixes, extra mashed potatoes, and pastas. And now I have an extra row of, these are the new vegetables that I bought. I brought some up here. So we the, all the ones down here and downstairs are new. So we have the peas, cream corn, regular corn, green beans, and then some extra tomatoes. So that's that cabinet. It's like a double-decker cabinet. And here's just my baking supplies. Very small. It's just my stuff. I don't have room for where I normally keep it because we have extra soup down there. So I'll show you that in a minute. Up here is just all my spices. I keep them like this. It works really well for me. I can see everything. These are all the plastic wraps, storage bags, things like that that we're working on. And all extra forks and things like that that we get, you know, from stores and stuff that I like to save and use. Down here, these are all new soups. That's why they're down here. Um, the ones in here and the ones in here are all newer, so they stay in here. We pull from the pantry first. Once those are gone, I put these in the back. That's the way I rotate it. I, I have a very good system. I know exactly what I'm doing with that, so it works out nicely for me. Um, and then extra pickles I just keep down here. Usually I keep this as my baking drawer, but for now um, it's full with that soup, so baking will go back in there probably in a month or two. And up here, I just keep all our cereal. We have about, probably about 15 to 18 boxes. My husband brings these to work. We don't eat them here. He just brings a box every like week or so to work. So those are for him. Just our cooking sprays, sugar, flour. These are brand new we just got. I have to put them in their tubs. I'll show you right over here where I usually store them. Um, dark brown sugar, light brown sugar, baking soda, vinegar, balsamic vinaigrette, all that stuff. So that's like my catch-all baking type thing. And then right up here, we just keep our teas that we're using. Tavana, hot cocoa mixes, regular tea. These are all the coffee pods we're currently working on. And then my jar is a flour, sugar, tea, rice, candy, and marshmallows. So that's my stockpile. Nothing too crazy. Just wanted to get on here and show you guys how I store everything. Um... Just showing you guys how couponing, shopping the sales, you really can build an extended pantry, emergency food storage. Just you never know what could happen where you can't really be spending money on toiletries and food. It's great to buy things ahead of time, buy them on sale, buy them when they're cheap, store them. Don't forget to store what you eat and eat what you store or it'll be a waste. So uh, take that as advice. Good luck having, um, you know, stocking up your pantries for the winter and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.